I don't think I can get the wheelchair. Unknown. Yeah, there's no wheelchairs at graveyards. The uh, McClowries are, clans are blared over here. Then I'll, uh, I'll show you some other grades of interest okay. here once plant, we... Uh, plant, plant. Yeah, they're over here. Yeah, I'd like to know the story on Three Finger Jack. Yeah, probably probing some places you shouldn't have. Now, you know who that is, don't you? Mrs. John Clum? John Clum was the guy that was Wyatt's best friend. What? Yeah. Hang on. Wave at me. No, wait at me. Yeah, he, he was Wyatt's best friend. He owned the Tombstone Epitaph, which is the newspaper here. Him and uh, Wyatt became lifelong friends. She died here, but he, of course, remarried, mm -hmm. and they all lived in, nearby each other in Los Angeles in later life. Mm -hmm. uh, Hey, Richard. Proud veteran of the Confederate States of America. Walk that away. Get behind these right here. Oh, okay. Get back up there. Are well, these the guys? Yeah. You too, Nancy. Go there where Richard is. Oh, okay. Then you can come back around this way. All right. Let me step back here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I kill myself. Stumbling over a grave. Okay.
Okay. Okay. You know who that is, don't you? Who? Right here. Florentino. Uh -uh. Who? AKA Indian Charlie. Oh, okay. Okay. Wyatt shot him, killed him. Okay. He was one of the ones that was in on the uh, murder of uh, Morgan. Ah. And Morgan just uh, caught up with him and uh, shot him. They'll teach him, right? Is that what it says? Or am I wrong? What? Oh, About him? Huh? Is that in there? Oh, I don't know. I was trying to find the one for the baby. I'm pretty sure uh, why it killed this guy. It was uh, Indian Charlie. There's Tom Waters, I think that's the daddy. Oh yeah, father yeah. of Eva Watts. Where do you see that in the blue one? Right here. Tom Waters, 1880. He was the father of Eva Watts. Okay. What did then, you find out? Oh, she died of scarlet fever. Oh, the baby. Uh -huh. Scarlet fever. Yeah. This one right here? Look at here, pneumonia. You know what? I wish every... Look at here, Rodriguez. You know what? I wish mine. every place would... Now, you know people have taken pictures with nobody in it when they develop them they there's people up. in it yeah, sure. really yeah here well, yeah have a lot of weird stuff happens here we'll see who shows up on this video Yeah, she didn't last long. I think she was afraid she'd slip on the rocks. You think what? I think she was afraid she'd slip on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost half twice. I know. That may be what happened. She may have slipped in the sun.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely ought to fall into that. Sherry, you're unclean. You can't go in the Jewish cemetery. Yeah. Hey, come up here a minute. Come this way a minute. There's nothing down there, so Yeah, come up here just a minute. Yeah, go back. No less, no more yeah, go back and watch the movie Tombstone. You'll see they got this one. Not this one, but one. You know, like it. Look at oh, for the movie. Christina B. Christensen. Where did we ever hear that since you did some research? Where is uh, White Earth buried? Pacifica, um, near San Francisco. He was uh, in his wife's. They go by them a saloon or something up there. What do he do? He I remember he left here in the movie and went there, and they settled in San Francisco or near there. I don't know what he did. Well, he ended up in uh, Alaska. You had that big gold strike up there. Yeah. And he bought a saloon, stayed there a few years, sold it, then went back to uh, Los Angeles uh -huh. for quite a lived there a long time. Uh, Ended up dying there. But her family apparently had cemetery plots or something near San Francisco. Mm -hmm. That's where he's buried, next to her. I'm gonna pause this for a minute. I wanna find uh, some of the names you may be. That's, uh, remember the movie Tombstone, Fred White? It was accidentally shot by. Uh, Remember the uh, scene where uh, Frank White's uh, confronting Curly Bill on the street? He accidentally shoots him. Yeah. Yeah. He was a town marshal. Well, the movie has him depicted as an old man, but he wasn't. He was actually in his 30s. Well, they, the, that made it more. Why do you think they have, put money on hey, his side? Right? Have it as an old man know. was better in the I movie. I didn't see money on anybody else's grave. I guess they have sympathy for him. He shot accidentally at, you know, 35 years old, I guess. Uh, now, we understand these people have been here since they died. Yeah. yeah. Curious about this thing. Uh, you know, Curly Bill was brought up on charges for killing the marshal. Mm -hmm. And they had a hearing, and Wyatt Earp testified on his behalf that it was an accident because... Uh, Fred lived a few minutes after he was shot and told White. You know, White was oh, one of the first ones on scene. Yeah. He lived long enough to tell him. And he told he told White that it was an accident, and uh, he testified to that. And that 
got Curly Bill off the hook. Do you remember the uh, character Buckskin Frank Leslie mm -mm. in the movie? Mm -mm. Well, he's one of the guys in the movie. You go back and watch, he's one of the White's friends. Well, he killed this guy over here. Move up here, or not move up here, come up here once a week on the weekend and do tours. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah, tips. right. <laughs> I starved to death. Now, there's another guy here, uh, I don't know if you remember the, the movie again, but when the gunfight started, a couple of guys went out the back, cowboys. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be part of the gunfight. One of them was uh, Billy Claiborne. But Billy Claiborne's buried here somewhere, and Frank Leslie shot him too, over argument at a card game. <laughs> He's buried right around here somewhere. I'm not sure where. And his name was what name? Uh, Billy Claiborne. Billy Claiborne. I was just thinking maybe he would be. Fuki? Yeah. yeah. He died of a disease. Was it? Sure he wasn't doing too much laundry? That's what the two Chinese over here died of. Yeah. Oh, oh, what did it say? He died of do, uh, doing too much laundry. That's what it says. Two Chinese. A gig that's worth the three dollars, you know it? Well, you know that, and they have cost, you know, to print this stuff. Oh, yeah. Because used to, they didn't, you didn't, they didn't give those out. Which one? Uh, w M Boyer or Bobby Yeah, I remember seeing that somewhere. Here's Chink Smile this year. <laughs> what names? That's appropriate. Chink Smile. Let's see about him. I was killed by the same one that did in the two Chinese over there. Exactly. Oh, here it just has shot. It doesn't have to go with this one. Yeah. Why we go when they fish here and 
Maybe getting late for one party well, to go. I was going to say, we probably ought to do that because I think they stopped that stopping, about stopping. Oh, 4.30, right. yeah. So. I would do that first. All right, let's go then. Right. Uh, yeah, they all kind of close early, you know, five or six. Well, they did find Billy Claver. Chink Smiley in the background. Take one with the glasses out so I can see. Oh, no, I can't take one with the light. Is she never takes her glasses. Did you bring your teeth? No. You go there. Hmm. Go over there. <laughs> This is a video, not a picture. Well, I have to stop the video. Okay. Let me get my glasses so I can find the button. It's the way. I'll probably put it in reverse or something. Okay, I guess we're finished videoing anyway, right? I guess so. All right, I'm gonna uh, stop it.